Welcome to Kaiji Live. I'm Kaiji, and this is my recap on Dragon Ball Super Episode 85. The episode begins with the Supreme Kai from Universe 11 calling or summoning the other Supreme Kai that are involved with the tournament of power. The reason why he called the other Supreme Kai is he wanted them to unite together in order to add Zeno to haul off erasing their universes so they can level up their universe mortal level higher. Unfortunately, the other Supreme Kais believed that Zeno won't go back on his decision and left. In this meeting of the Supreme Kais, we found out more of the other Supreme Kai personality and characteristics. If you remember the Supreme Kai from Universe 9 of being arrogant and blowhard, during the meeting, he was complaining why he was being called since he's looking for fighters and left immediately after that. Gowasu, the Supreme Kai of Universe 10, if you remember, he was introduced in the second Future Trunks Saga as 11th why 7th wasn't invited. 11 mentioned that since Son Goku was originally from Universe 7, he didn't invite 7th into this meeting. The Supreme Kai from Universe 2, an older looking Supreme Kai, mentioned that all they have to do is gather their most powerful fighter and decide during the tournament of power which of their universe survives. The Supreme Kai from Universe 2, a Supreme Kai wearing glasses, mentioned that intellect would be the deciding factor during the term of power, not bronze, since he boasted that his universe has the most highest intellect. Two was insulted what three said, and an argument broke out between them. While those two was arguing, four mentioned how it was egotistical of them, and six was saying oh dear, oh dear throughout the meeting. It was eleven that stopped the fight between two and three. After the rest of the Supreme Kai left, Eleven mentioned that his fighters are the strongest fighters of Universe Eleven, and in Universe Seven fighters are no match, and they will be the winners of the Tournament of Power. Chapa, the God of Destruction from Universe Six, find out the Supreme Guy had a meeting, and so he called the rest of the God of Destruction, asked them whether or not are they plan to cheat. The mouse-looking God of Destruction, which we found out that he's from Universe Four. Is a cheeky god of destruction. He mentioned that Zeno will erase any cheaters, which the rest of the god of destruction agrees. It was the robot god of destruction, which we find out that he's from Universe 3, mentioned why was Beers, the seventh god of destruction, wasn't invited. It was the mouths of god of destruction, mentioned that since Son Goku was from Universe 7, Champa didn't invite Beers into this meeting. Then it was the God of Destruction from Universe 9 mentioned that how Goku was being disrespectful to Zen O. The Elven God of Destruction, which we find out that he was from Universe 10, agreed with the God of Destruction from Universe 9, saying that how Goku can be so carefree towards Zen O. The only known female God of Destruction, which we find out that she was from Universe 2, mentioned that she won't cheat during the tournament power. She also mentioned how Goku was a beautiful man. At the end of the meeting, the clown destruction from Universe 11. In this episode, we found out his name. His name is Bell Mode. He mentioned that the Universe 7 fighters are no match against the Universe 11 fighters. In this episode, we get a glimpse and a day of life of a pie trooper. Then we see Topo arriving at a bar or a lounge, having him having himself a drink. He was thinking about past events at the Zeno exhibition match and what Goku said, saying that he was powering up, passing his limits. He was interrupted by another member of the Pride Trooper, a man named Kasaro. We found out that in the Pride Troopers, Topo is known as leader and Kasaro is known as Shogun or general. Shogun mentioned that since Topo is a hero and the leader of the Pride Troopers, he should make that face, making unwelcome to other people to approach him. Topo responds back that what if the future of this universe rests upon the Pride Trooper's shoulders? Shogun asked Topo what happened when he went to Zeno Palace. Before Topo was able to answer back, they received a signal from another of their member needing their help. On another planet, we see this Pride Trooper asking for help. He looks like the same species as Beerus and Champa. 
He was fighting some big monsters with tentacles and has laser eyes, and an alien commanding that monster. We find out that his name is Dispon, and he's the fastest member of the Pride Troopers. He fell well against the monsters, able to dodge the tentacles, and able to cut off one of the tentacles of the monsters. Unfortunately, he got cocky, and the monster was able to catch him. Fortunately for Dispo, Topo and Shogun was able to arrive quickly and save him. After Topo freed Dispo, they regrouped and poses similar to Super Sentai stating their name and title. Dispo stated that he's the Sonic Warrior, Topo stated that he's the Warrior of Freedom, and Shogun stated that he's the Slashing Warrior. After that, Topo attacked the monster with his Justice Flash, and both Dispo and Shogun combined their attack called Double Cannon Maximum and attacked the monster. All three of the Pride Troopers was able to defeat the monster. Back on the Pride Trooper spaceship, Dispo find out about the Terminal of Power, saying that it was a terrible thing that ha has happened. He mentioned that they gonna need the help of the g -Rad. Topo agreed, saying that he know where he is since g -Rad is in training. Back in Universe 7, on planet Earth, Goku was on his way to Kami Lookout. When he was passing Mr. Saiyan City, he noticed there was destruction going on. He tried to sense what was going on, he sensed that it was Boo's key and flew to Mr. Satan's house. We found out that Mr. Satan was training Boo. When we finally get a look at Boo, he has a slender, tall look. Goku saw how powerful Boo became and challenged him to a fight in order to test him, but which Boo agrees. We then see Goku and Boo fight. After the fight, Goku comments that Boo is much faster and powerful in this form. Then we cut away to Gohan fighting Piccolo. Piccolo mentioned that he was waiting for Gohan. Gohan asked Piccolo for a request. Piccolo comments back that he knows that he's going to retrain that soft, weakened body of Gohan's. Gohan then thanks him. Goku finally arrives at Kami's lookout, and we see Denden Den and Mr. Popo waiting for him. Goku was about to ask Denden Den what's the location of Android 17. Denden Den said that he knows, since he was listening in when both the arrival of Supreme Kai and the God of Destruction came to Earth. He said the location of Android 17 that he was on an island in the southern part of the world. Goku thanks Dan Dan and went off. Near the end of the episode, we see the Universe 6 Supreme Kai talking to Chappa, saying that he's leaving it to him, choosing the fire for their universal team. Chappa plans to use his Universe Saiyan to go against this Universe 7 saying, and with the help of Vados, they were able to contact Kappa and Chappa or in Kappa to look for more powerful Saiyans than him. And the last thing that Chappa said is Saiyans fight against Saiyans. Overall, this episode was an informal episode. We found out more about the Supreme Kai's and their personality and which universe they're from. We also find out more about the God Destruction from the other universes and their characteristic and personality. We also find out what they think of the Supreme Kai, God Destruction, and Goku from Universe 7. It seems like they don't like Universe 7 very much, since they were the ones that put them in this predicament. But as I mentioned in my previous recap, Xana was planning to erase lower level universes since it was too much trouble for him ruling over them. In fact, Vedas, the angel from Universe 6, mentioned that it, they should thank Goku for staying off the duration of their universes. One of the reasons I'm looking forward to this saga is that we get to see other Saiyans from other universes. We all know that Universe 6 Saiyans are the police force in that universe. I'm looking forward to see other Saiyans from other universes, if they do exist in the other universes that has been presented. Because I want to know if those Saiyans achieve some kind of power up level that is different from a Super Saiyan, and we get to see other forms that might be fun to see. Whether or not these Saiyans know about the Super Saiyans or any higher levels than Super Saiyan, like Super Saiyan 2, 3, and we might even see Super Saiyan 4. But then again, this might be this is a battle royale, so we might not see it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. Click over here to watch my previous video. Click over here to watch my previous recap on Dragon Ball Super. Click over here to watch my next recap on Dragon Ball Super. 
and click over here to subscribe to my channel, catch you live for future Nerd and Geeking videos. Thank you.